formula so first know about what is the meaning of the array so array it means arrange the sequentially just like 1 2 3 4 5 and you have also type here in the curly bracket 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 close that curly bracket and press the enter and check here your sequence your number sequentially distribute here so array is the array array definition is the maintain sequence but how can you use in formula how can benefit of in formula this type of the examples so give me the one example we have name here i have typed the my name here i want to every name in the different different shape every character in the different different shape just like s u j e e and t this is the my name Suji. so i want to distribute i, I have to do the manual but i want to uh, distribute my name character in the every one single cell one by one with formula so if you apply the formula normal formula you have used the mode mod mode and we have select here one comma one sorry mode me uh, mid sorry we have mistake here mid formula mid formula so here mid apply here select the name comma number of two from the number two give the one character second apply same the mid from the three number of one character again the mid formula select here number of four from the four number of one character extract the mid apply the mid formula select here we have type here from number of six give the one correct extract the one character not a six and a five uh, mistake five and the last we have apply mid formula select here number from the number of six extract the one character so note that we have applied the same formula so we have applied the formula in the six set and every formula will be same only for change the sequence one sequence is like two three four five six like that so with array and with array this concept we have typed the just one formula apply the mid select that your text in the curly bracket we have type 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 and give the one character press the enter one single formula you have get the all results so with array you have applied the multi cell formula in the one cell if you use the no if you should calculate the normally normal formula take the many and many cells but array give the result in the one cell, one formula. Do you understand, Mr. Krishnan? Yeah, yeah, I So we have uh, in, in the array have a two parts. In the array, array formula, uh, no, not a two part, have a three parts. First is the distribution. So you have this, uh, give this example the input we we have give the input in the one cell in the curly bracket and array will be distributed sequentially every different different cells have a different different inputs right but every cell have a one single formula check here one single formula right sir yeah third is the uh, second is the calculation so first is the distribution you in you can distribute your inputs with different different cells second is that you have calculate uh, calculate the multiple calcul field calculation in the one cell for example we have typed the number like that 
I want to add some numbers here. I want to add 100 in this all number individually. Again, we have just multiply by 6 the all number. And we have just divide by 50 for all numbers. And after then, we'll be save here, uh, sum here. So I, my final result is the double one nine. But first, for this double nine one, we have calculate. The first is the plus, second is the multiply, and third is the divide. And after that, we have sum here against the results. So for we have for this calculation, we have used the eighteen cells, right? But this calculation do in the single cell, in the single cell, just like uh, array formula. So we have select here and plus 100 multiply by 6 divided by 50. But remember, every time uh, do the calculation, use the board math method. It means bracket. So first, every calculation in bracket okay mr krishnan yeah yes yes so i have every calculation in the bracket and press the enter you can check here so this this is the normal uh, uh, formula normal way of the calculations and for this calculation you have used the 19 18 19 cell for you can get the results but with array you have calculate in the one cell okay so mr Kishnan, do you understand the second part of the array the first yeah. part is the distribution second part is the calculation and third part is the storage you have remember in uh, the last classes we have discussed the naming method right in the naming method we have discussed the vlookup formula in the vlookup formula we have stored data in the name method right sir that is this that is the storage storage method just like we have typed some code uh, right here uh, double one it means dali Double two, it means Mumbai. Double three, it means Kolkata. Right, sir. So when the apply the formula VLOOKUP, select here. In the VLOOKUP, in the curly bracket, we have type here double one, comma del, comma, uh, is not no comma, semicolon, double three. Double two, double two, in the middle comma, Mumbai, and same semicolon. Semicolon is the separator of the row, and col uh, comma is the separator of the column. Double three, comma, Kolkata. Right? We have closed the curly bracket, comma two, comma zero. You can get the result here, right? So how can you do that? So if in the first e example we have discussed the if we have in the curly bracket, in the curly bracket we have distribute the number. But when I apply here semicolon type six, uh, six, comma seven, comma eight, comma nine, comma ten. Now you can see here after the semicolon your row will be separate here. So if you have used the curly bracket, in the curly bracket, curly bracket, comma is a separate of the column and semicolon is a separate of row. But one thing problem. So this is the very small data we have stored here. But I have the large data. And how can do quickly? Just like I have ID and name here. Okay, Mr. Krishnan. So I have this uh, drawn here, or we have the name. And now I want to this list as a like a this example. 
I want to uh, store in the VLOOKUP our data and define name this all data. But if you have, uh, if you try to write manually, one comma puja, it take the lot of time because we have the 15, 16, 100 because uh, 100, 200 list of my data. So how can do quickly? So for that, we have get get the help from Word. Use the Word in the MS Word. We have the uh, solution for that. So first we have copy my access data and go to the MS Word and do the paste special. In the paste special, we have select the unformatted unicorn text. Unformatted text. Remember every time unformatting unicorn text. Press the OK. Now get the result. In the Word, in the MS Word, so uh, ID between ID and name, this is the tab, and name and number one have a paragraph. So select the data, uh, press the Control H for replace, and go to the more. So select click here in the spatial. If you select the tab character, so we have press the comma and replace or yes. You can see here every tab replaced by comma. Now we have select the paragraph mark and with paragraph mark we have replaced here, replaced all paragraph to semicolon. Okay. Now we have copied this data and go to the Excel. In the Excel sheet and we have double click here and paste now need to apply the inverted comma now need to apply inverted comma right sir yeah so how can i apply that so see here, after the comma, we have a starting inverted comma and before the semicolon, we have closing the inverted comma. So we have select here, control H and we have give the comma uh, here, inverted comma, replace, find a comma, replace here, comma and a starting inverted comma, replace here. And go to the semicolon and we have closed the inverted comma and with the semicolon replace of now every name replaced by inverted comma say here and here is the remove the comma now we have select the data and go to the define name and write the dt and in the curly bracket now curly bracket in the curly bracket we have paste the all data here and okay so now i want to id here i want to name just apply the vlookup select here and data not a data dt i think dt comma two comma zero Press the enter, we got the result. So, Mr. Krishna, do you understand? So, we yeah. array, array have it, uh, have it three parts. First, the distribution, second, the calculation, and, and third is the store the data, right? And I am also also told you array is not a list of formulas. We have given the uh, three, four, five, six uh, formulae that we can understand. This is the way of the apply your formula so if you have if you want to try to understand one formula in one example is enough if you have not uh, understanding then 100 example will be short your understanding so do the practice array formula need a practice if you command of the array formula you can command of the excel formula right yeah so please uh this for this reference with these videos, you can please do the practice on the error formula. Okay. And next classes we discuss.